Have we got a match of biblical historic proportions for you? In this corner, we have the New England Patriots. Easily the best team, one of the best teams in the NFL, and easily the NFL's top dynasty. With Brady and Belichick, they led this team from basically being the New York Jets, the AFC East, to dominating the AFC East like redheaded stepchildren. In this corner, we have the Giants. This was the team that always seems to come up and, to many Giant fan interpretation, save the day by beating the Patriots. In the regular season, in 2007, when the Patriots went 16, almost went 19 and 0, the Giants rose to the occasion in the Super Bowl to knock the Patriots away from their perfect season. They nearly did that in the regular season as well that year. A lot is riding on the line in this game between two very skilled teams in the end. One gets the right to have another home game. New England Patriots, New York Giants, straight ahead on Thursday Night Football. Happy 2019, folks, and what a way to kick off the new year with uh, with more tournament games and six, five of them after this that are scattered throughout the month with one tomorrow morning at 8 between the Minnesota Vikings and the surprising upset, the Cleveland Browns. Tonight... At MetLite Stadium, the roar of the Giants, a roar loud enough that you could literally hear it from the Big Apple, was heard because the New York Giants are in town. There you see Eli Manning walking along. He will be in the road whites. The New England Patriots will go for a all-blue look to tonight. Continue to watch some great games. Steven Gostowski will be kicking the ball off, and we'll see what Eli Manning can do with the ball here in the this game. And the Giants. The Giants have Odell Beckham and Victor Cruz to look out for on offense tonight. They have Jason Pierre Paul on defense. Harris looks to be back deep to return. Gostowski kicks off, and we're so underway from Jol- MetLife Stadium. And the Giants come out to the 24. Enter Eli Manning, the brother of possibly the greatest of all time, Peyton Manning, heading out to take the lot to his O-line tonight. You're seeing more and more things added to his game. A little more patience in the Two-time pocket. Pro Bowler, two-time Super Bowl field. winner against this team. The easy completion. As Manning he zips it incomplete. With like and the big boys up front 17 was the intended receiver on that one. I love them because this is a group that's so cohesive. You see Odell Beckham next to them is going to do at all times. Victor Cruz, two notable weapons that unit. the Giants have on offense the tonight. Here Patriots recently Gatorade. beefed up their defense Gatorade, as well. The sports fuel company. And on second and 10 now. The gift to second down 10, Je- Rashad Jennings. And he's brought down by with a gain of seven. And many use the running game like boxers do. Body blow after body blow after body blow. You may not get what you want early, but those add up. And by the fourth quarter, you can third down and three. So it should be easy third down conversion for the Giants, even though they've lately been a dumpster fire. If I can put it best. Manning drops in the pocket, looks for a man, zings it, and it's picked off. Ryan, he's going to run this one out of bounds. 
and bring the Patriots in excellent field position. Enter Tom Brady himself. Five-time Super Bowl winner with one of them secretly a giant middle finger to Roger Goodell, who suspended him for four games at the beginning of the 2016 season. Brady with a handoff to Garrett Blount, and Blount goes nowhere. Staying sharp, staying in shape. This is a guy says he wants to play 10 more years. He certainly works like it. This is and the offense. He just got pushed way back. And this one and see some of the weapons the that back. Tom Brady gets to play with tonight. Garrett Blount, Julian Edelman, Danny Edelman, right favorite tackles. target, Rob and Gronkowski. Brady is going to pass here. He's going to throw it. Presumably the back of one of his O-line and complete. With supreme confidence in himself. He thinks that no one is going to catch a pass in his area. Calls himself Clamp City. Third down and 12. Third down and 12. First time Patriots going to have to convert on long. Brady's going to dump it to Dion Lewis. Who gets brought down for a gain of five, which unfortunately this is not enough for the Patriots to convert. So they're going to be going to a three now. What a play by the receiver downfield to elevate and make the catch. Field goal try forthcoming. And Gostowski is going to go for the field goal here and, and tack three points on the board. The yeah, you can never complain about getting the lead, but there's plenty of time left here. So I'm sure they Excellent still field position for the Patriots. As this was an easy chip shot in for Gostowski. As hopefully Manning can recover from getting picked off. Everyone getting lined up, and it looks like we are just about set to rock. And he's brought down right around the 23. That's where the return is. So you see not Gary Kubiak looking on with uh, Eli Manning setting up shop keep Giants 23. Getting set on first down. They'll try to hand off. The stop by Patrick Chung. And a nice run there to pick up the first down. Good understanding by the runner. And no great run by Rashad Jennings to get the first. As the clock continues to tick down. Here in the first quarter, the Patriots are up by three. So a nickel formation here for the defense. Patriots are in a nickel package. Manning hands off to Rashad Jennings and goes literally nowhere. It seems like whenever people talk about Chris Long, the number one thing Chris they discuss Long is his motor and how relentless actually he is. Actually, he might have been the guy that picked off. Athlete. Was he the guy that picked off Eli Manning earlier? I honestly wasn't paying attention. Second down and 12 and the from the 33. Some of this yardage back here at second and 12. Tie goes in motion. Manning dumps to Rashad Jennings. Rashad up to the left. Rashad gets the first down. Rashad has only got two men left. And he's in at the 32. Right here in this game, we thought six points were going on the board. But how about the guys at home who play fantasy football who have this player? They were counting those points as well and never got them. Good run. I mean, if he luckily the defense was on him, otherwise that would have been easy seven for the Giants. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. From the gun. Manning goes in the pocket again. Looks like he's looking for his receiver. Cruz has the catch. Cruz runs it in at the two-yard line. Brandon, that was a good completion. 
completion there. He ran into a zone early on, and he found a hole in the defense. It looked like Malcolm Butler just couldn't hold on. This should be an easy touchdown run for the Giants here. As they're in perfect position. As you see Ben McAdoo happy with how this drive's gone for his Giants so far. And now first down following that long game. First down following a huge game. Fullback goes back in motion. Vereen goes to the left, side. and He's it's slipped in for a gain of one. The, goal the ball did not cross the plane. To make it as hard as 35 the seconds left and counting. Second and goal to go now. Second down and goal. Manning to Vereen, who gets in for the Giants' touchdown. Big blue to the early lead. Great run right there by Vereen to get into the end zone for a one-yard touchdown gain. As it looks like. Number three is going to put this one in. Nassib is the placeholder. Then he adds the point after. This is already a much better performance than on the Giants versus the Seahawks all the way back on uh, December 23rd. So now I see the Patriots going to be taking the kickoff here. First the time they've been uh, just about ready. behind in any of these games. Martin takes it out from the four. He runs it to the 28. Right around the 28 this time. As we got nine seconds left in the quarter, the Patriots looking for a big game here. So here we go. First and ten. They haven't been too good on uh, rushing and passing tonight. Until LeGarrette Blount rips off a nice game for a gain of six. As the quarter ends, the Giants hold on to a slim lead of four over the New England Patriots here on Thursday night football. So the first quarter show their dominance. Quarter number two is coming up. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Rashad Jennings rips off a nice game. Rashad Jennings is going to go up the left and show a little athleticism here. And look at him go. Until he got pushed out of bounds by Malcolm Butler. Eli Manning is going to connect with his man on this one. Tom Brady is going to be complaining about deflated balls later. Back live now in a low Welcome back to MetLife Stadium been tonight. The defensive side of the football. It's been a game of who can keep each other low in terms of points. As Tom Brady discusses the play that not Bill Belichick gave him. As the New England Patriots set up shop at the 34-yard line. So the offense ready. He's, He's got a two receivers to the right. Brady it's hands it off to LeGarrette Blount yes, for a yards. gain of two. As this game continues, the offensive line has to do a better job of creating space for the running back. That time by. As you see, the clock will continue to run. 432. Brady is going to pass to incomplete. And Gronkowski having words with the person that covered him. Just unable to haul it in and take it the other way. So he dropped an interception. The key for him now, don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. So it looks like the Patriots for the first time are going to be going to a three and out. Right here. Fourth down and two. Allen 
Sets it in the air to short kick. Harris takes Harris it out from the 29 and, wow, and nice takes yards. three Patriots to take him down. The Giants look to capitalize on this drive with another touchdown. So the offense has it first and ten. Manning to Rashad to Jennings, who gets immediately Chung stopped for a gain of one by Patrick Chung. Patriots really enjoying doing a lot of defensive work so far versus uh, the Giants, who are up by four. So, so far, it's pretty much an even gain. Right now. 348 on the so clock. Yards to go for this offense Manning in the gun. Manning fires it. Picked off again by Biggers. And down he goes right there. Evan Biggers that time. Definitely a situation where he wishes he had that pass back, but a nice play by the defender to pick it off. Looked like uh, Harris was the guy who wanted that ball. Turnovers on early on down. aren't really going to be that bad, but yeah, later we'll on, the if gun. they keep piling up, it could really end badly the for the Giants. For nice As Chris Hogan Control gets the first down. Does his job, and it's a first down for the offense. Excellent execution all the way around. Plenty of time for the quarterback and the receiver to work their first down magic. They are at the Giants 34. We'd like to remind you that you can wake up Friday morning and enjoy your breakfast with so a little bit of NFL town. football from First Energy Stadium as the, the Minnesota gun. Vikings come in town to face the Cleveland Browns. Brady slings it deep and complete. Coverage, but to no avail. Whether they deserve credit or not, the defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always feels good when you slow down an offense. Second down and 10. Shotgun snap. Brady here. drops in the shotgun and he gets dropped for, for a huge loss. Nobody picked up the blitz on the O line by. Uh, 57. Nobody stopped him. And a ways to go here on third down. Looks like Brady drops the gun. Zings it. Amendola with a first down. And he gets brought down at the 14. Brad, as we know, the only score that counts is the one up on the board. Which team is winning? But between receivers and two minutes and, backs, and eleven seconds and, and counting. Defender, and Mandola so gets the catch. How many times did you break a tackle? And how many times did they tackle you cleanly? And rips off a solid gain, <laughs> but unfortunately wasn't enough to get past. Asked him, but they did get the first down. As it's the two-minute warning, two warning here. Warning here. In half number one. Here in uh, MetLife tonight. Giants taking a break. Patriots getting their drinks. 14 yard line for the so for Patriots. Question is, will they be able to? And it's blocked off. By Collins Knocked that time. Incomplete. He tried the screen pass to Garrett Blount, Blount, but it just fell short. Incomplete. The Patriots look to. Possibly uh, run here while the Giants look to be in their uh, nickel set. 
Brady takes the snap. Look at that. He goes to the right. And he takes it in for the Patriots touchdown. Right to Danny Amendola. Beautiful touchdown pass by, by the New England Patriots that time. It still drives them crazy when it actually now the winner to here fast and furious, will get points. home field advantage of the winner of the either Oakland or Denver game. So whoever wins the Denver Oakland game will go into the town to play either the Giants or the Patriots. Right now it's early to tell, but and he splits the uprights for the PAT. Guess who just got the point after? Gostowski. And we are teed up and ready to go. And Gostowski puts it in the air. Darkwa takes it from the three. Darkwa tries to reverse course, but gets slammed at the 25. Eli Apple looked to be busted on that one. And we'll see what the ref has to say. Yep. Not a good mistake to have against the Patriots. They're easily one of the most ref-protected teams in the NFL. Up first and ten. So something like clipping by Eli Apple would probably get a good old chewing on the sideline. Manning gets hit as he throws. Nearly picked off by Malcolm Butler. Tremendous coverage there. Just did not catch the football and complete the interception. But what do they say all the time? If he had really good hands, he'd be playing offense. By the way, that game will be a daytime game since uh, I've given the Patriots way too many night primetime games. They had their game against the Chiefs. They had their game against the Rams. And their game against the Giants. They've all been, under, been at night. So this next game will be a early game, most likely. Manning goes in the shotgun. Overthrew his target. Incomplete. You're showing your age, dude. Look like Victor Cruz was open. This quarterback has a tremendously strong arm. Yeah, the strong arm will uh, grab you in the butt. So still a full 10 yards to go here for the offense. 10 to go here for the Giants, who have moved nowhere Here's since that game. penalty is Vereen. Oh, the ball's out. And is it? Picked off by the Patriots at the 15-yard line. If you're a defense, your goal going into every game is to take the ball away from the offense. How about what we just saw there? Knocking one free and taking possession. Whoa. Aaron Branch, the defensive end. Went in and stripped the ball at the 13 on a third down run by the Giants. So now Brady has great opportunity to punch it in again and make this a long game for New England. Hits his target for the Patriots touchdown. And that's six more points on the board. For Danny Amendola. The had to be excited when they saw the field position they were given, and they ran out there and executed perfectly to score. Unbelievable. So six in the books. He'll try to make it seven with his and point. And Gostowski looks to open the lead to ten points. With the uh, PAT. The point kick is good. Tom Brady is the today, tonight's game. Two touchdowns for 71 yards apiece in terms of passing. 
as it looked this game at first looked to be a defensive battle between this Super Bowl rematch, but in the kickoff team, they let's just say it set. hasn't gone the way of the Giants so far in this quarter. Harris takes it from the one. He's going to take it out to the 20 and get and the tackle made. slammed at the 24. And on first down. First down and 10 from the 24. The Manning gun. takes the snap, looks for his man. Going to do a check down pass to Rashad Jennings, who is incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. And the booth is going to review this one as they think it's a complete pass for Rashad Jennings. Not Bill Belichick and Ben McAdoo look on out. He, oh, might be borderline here. See, he catches it. Butler gets to him. And, oh, there's that foot out of bounds. After review the play, This challenge was initiated by yep. the guys in New York taking a look at the play. Less than two minutes to go. Gain a yeah, one sure by the Giants. To challenge it, so he's probably going to send the New York office a holiday card. Yep. Corny jokes aside. Second down and nine now from still the 25 the right now. Down. They're going to head back to the air. Manning looks for a man, and he gets almost picked off again by the Patriots. Two interceptions and one fumble. Not a good way to start your game. Athleticism, hands, a little bit questionable. In fact, it's a terrible way to start your game. Nine. Manning goes way back, green with the pass, and he gets ripped down by uh, Patrick Chung. It's going to take a moment and talk it over with a timeout. As they take a timeout for the Patriots, that's their first. They have two more after this. The defense, they got a little bit of a breather. Now they're back and so, as we resume play. And now a punting situation after they completed the, the pass. Giants are going to punt this one. But a little shy of the line to gain. Wing puts it in the air. It's a long short kick to and Danny Amendola. Amendola gets out to the 42 goes, shy, it looks, for a 10-yard game. Approximately. As this puts the Patriots in perfect field position. Shotgun formation. Brady takes a snap. The O-line, they flip over each other on the line. As Brady almost gets picked off by throwing to Amendola again. In fact, Amendola is the only reason the Patriots are ahead by now, right now. Don't dwell on it. Just move on to the next play. If you look at stats, Danny Amendola has been ripping off them games. Looking to avoid a third and long. It's second and ten. Second down and ten. Brady drops in the pocket. Zings it to Edelman, who gets the first down. Patriots are going to burn another timeout here. Sometimes I wonder if not Bill Belichick is doing a
a really job doing Bill Belichick and things. So I don't follow the Patriots the that often. The My two of teams are the Broncos out. and Steelers. Call me a bandwagon if you want. But he's doing Bill Belichickian things, and I like it. The Patriots are going to set up shop at the 48-yard line. So, first down. first down here. Brady drops the gun. And incomplete. Whether they deserve credit or not, the defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always so feels down good to slow down an offense. Second down and 10. Second down and 10 here is the, the Brady drops the gun. It Zips it to Gronk, who gets wrapped up by the defense for a gain of six. Going into no huddle mode by Tom Brady. And he goes deep. Picked off by Rodgers Karate. And he gets a nice little run back, but he gets trapped at the 12 by Ma Julian Edelman. So that's the Patriots' first interception of the game. Here. He just broke off his route, and then he tries to rip it again, but Edelman was there on the stop. Just ran right into him. So that's turnover one of the night for the Patriots. So some extra tonnage out there on the jumbo set to the ground. Manning going to use Rashad Sheer Jennings to stuff. run. He's good, but he's really no nice Saquon set Barkley, just so you know. Joe Sheard was there on the stop. Eating that wall of blue. Ten seconds and counting as the clock continues to run. Six yards to go here, here on MetLife. second down. And that'll do it for the half as the New England First Patriots are up NFL by ten over the New York Sports. Giants. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports, and we have hit halftime with the New York Giants trailing. We hit we'll halftime. After this timeout. Tom Brady is going to connect with Dan Danny Amendola on this one. Tom Brady is going to connect with Danny Amendola again. Tom Brady is going to connect with Amendola for a third time. You see the theme here? Elon Man Apple Manning is going to connect with Victor Cruz for a really nice game. And as you look at the halftime report, and we're back stats for the second up. half. Here's a quick look at the, the Giants clearly stats. have better yards and average yards per play, but however, the scoreboard shows the Patriots are ahead due to their air game and Tom Brady. They get the ball back after and that late quarter reception. I'm going to turn my commentary over now to Brandon Gaughan and Charles Davis. Gentlemen. And ready to rock as we resume here on EA Sports. And the return here gets him. Right around the 24-yard line. Getting set on first down. On the ground, it's blocked. He'll get the first down before he stopped. The way they're moving the ball on offense now, somewhere, Coach Hank Stram is grinning. Just matriculating the ball down the field, boys. <laughs> and 
And on first down, the snap from the gun. He's going to chuck it long. And he hauls it in. And Tom Brady, I mean, some guys his age, they're not even able to go out there and push the lawnmower. But this guy, he can fire the deep ball still like that. And you remember in the beginning of his career, one of the big knocks was that his arm strength wasn't there. Guess what? He increased that, improved it, continues to be one of the best deep throwers in the game. So after that big gain, let's see what else the offense has up its sleeve. They'll try the screen. As a defender, you're never crazy about a completion, but anything that doesn't result in a first down, you're going to be happy about. The key is to make sure it stays that way all game long. No missed tackles that turn into big plays. Second and five here. It's a screen. And he's able to haul it in. 11 yards on that play. For all you young defenders out there, when you're in zone defense, you have to know where your holes are and find a way to adjust when the offense tries to attack them. First down. This time a handoff. And that was his first carry of the day. takes him out of the eye formation. It certainly appears that he's hurting in a big way. The medical staff's out there and going to attend to him. We hope to get positive news after they check him out. When it's going right, it's going right. They just increase their lead. Did I mention the part about how Tom Brady likes Danny Amendola in this game? And now he's on to add the PAT. The PAT is up, and the PAT is good. like we are just about set to rock. Tackle made across the 25 at the 27.
And on first and ten now. Throws it over the middle. Not enough mustard. Incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They tried their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Ten yards still left on second down. They'll operate from the gun. Unable to hit his man there, and it falls to the ground. Whether they deserve credit or not, the defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always feels good when you slow down an offense. Third down and 10. A shotgun snap here. Fires to his right side. He could not hang on, and it falls to the ground. Just got ahead of himself there, Brandon. Tried to run before he secured the ball. Secondary did their job. They hold up. Pass incompletion. Here comes the punt. Amendola to return it. In a really nice game. And on first down. On the ground, it's blocked. Right side run. And he is stopped and taken down to the ground. Ah, uh, yes, this is where the expression staying ahead of the chains comes into play. Good runs like that one set you up well for third down. Three yards to go here on a second down. Shotgun formation. And he threw it short, falls incomplete. Sometimes the coverage is so good, no matter what you're doing on offense, you just can't shake anyone free. They try their best to find someone open, but they took away every passing alley, every angle, and shut the play down. Third and three. And that is the second time in this game he's been brought down behind the line of scrimmage. And a sack on third down that gets the defense off the field and the offensive unit, they give up, they'll punt it away. And there's a flag on the play. Harris is going to try and return the punt. And he has 10 yards. Push the foul. Keeping. Receiving team. First down. Getting set on first down. The give is to Jennings. Runs up the middle. And he's brought down by Collins. Seven yards to go on second down. And a big tight end shifting around. And a quick drop. And it's thrown incomplete. 
whether they deserve credit or not. The defense is going to take credit for that incompletion because it always feels good when you slow down an offense. Seven yards remain now on third down from the shotgun. And he brings it in for the catch. And bringing him down there, Ryan. Seventy-five percent of the way home in regulation. Three quarters down, one to go, and we'll get to that last one after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. Uh, this is why I should stop doing Thursday night football games because 99% of the time they are not competitive. Back here in the at MetLife Stadium tonight, the Giants are down by 17 to the New England Patriots, 20, who are up 24 to 7. You can probably guess why. Tom Brady connected with Danny Amendola. Welcome back to the NFL. Final quarter. The, the Giants we were just got a first very down. Good close fought game. But that just simply hasn't been the case. Yeah, you think. The Giants are at the 35-yard line right here. And uh, five minutes left in the game. The clock continues to tick. Manning drops the gun. Gets hit, nice dumps it to Harris, who reception. spins and gets the first and down. The goal of every offense is to move the chains, pick up first downs. A nice job finding an open receiver for a completion. Nice run there. <laughs> by the by Harris. So, clock continues to tick after that small game there, gain of 12 by the Giants. And on first down. Manning goes way in the pocket. The flat, dumps it, it to Jennings, Jennings and he gets all get up by Patriots. Second like down and seven. There. Excellent arm strength. If I'm the receiver, I'm shaking my hands after that one. Patriots aren't really that worried about losing that big of a lead. I mean, they're not the Falcons, for Christ's sake, but kind of can't really let the offense really get those solid gains. Here we go with second and seven. As 353 on the clock. As it continues to tick, Manning hands Hand off, off to Rashad, Rashad Jennings, Jennings so he's finally brought down, with a but not game of three a really good game. that time by. Everyone's looking for the big runs, the explosive runs, the 20 to 30 yard play. So, but anytime you're picking up good yeah. yardage and setting yourself up good yardage there by Rashad Jennings, love that too. however, um, they're kind of down by 17, so they need to really go to the air Third game here. And four now. And I think Elon Manning's about to do just that because he's got three receivers to the right. Connects with Beckham for the first time. With a gain of approximately 17. Envision themselves making big plays, catches, long runs. Well, it just happened there. But sometimes when you look at the big board and you slow your feet down, keep running. That's why it was caught. If Beckham Jr. would have kept going, that would have been huge for the Giants. We pretty much know the Patriots are going to move back home to Foxborough to play the next game, which I ran some predictions for the Raiders and Broncos because that's the next opponent the Patriots could either face. Broncos going to go to Foxborough. And Sean Jennings got ripped down for a gain of one. I know the goal is to pick up the yards you want for a first down. But sometimes you just have to take what the defense gives you, even if it doesn't result in that. Even though that game was virtually jacked compared to what Tom Brady's been slinging around tonight. I know for 
Chris Morocco fans. Uh, hopefully, the Vance Joseph Dark Ages will be over. On second and nine. A lot of people think that way after uh, Sunday's game against freaking LA. The clock continues to tick. Beckham connects for a first down. And with that, we arrive at the two minute warning. The two minute warning. Could the Giants be staging a comeback? Just like uh, Super Bowl 42 and 45? My Offense signs comes say to the line yes, now, first and they ten. will. Manning waits, stands there in the pocket. He's not very mobile, and he's going to get picked off by Richards, who downs it for a touchback. And that was not what the Giants needed. But like, he just jumped for like no reason. Shepard did. He just dove in the end zone like he was going to catch the ball. Really odd to see what he was doing. The Patriots, after yet another interception by the Giants, are going to set up shop at the 20 yard line. Brady to Blount, who tries to stick the guy but gets shoved way back for a loss of course. If there's one thing the Giants have been good at is tonight is run defense. Unfortunately, it's kind of been in the butt with in terms of passing because the Patriots seemingly have picked off every single pass thrown. Offense needs something here on second down. It is second and long. On the ground, it's Blount. Blount. He's going to get ripped for game yards. two. The clock will continue to run. Is used by each and every team. This is an opportunity now for this right team now. to close out their opponent. Championship teams know how to close out games. And especially if you are the New England Patriots. 12 yards to go on third down. 30 seconds right. left in the game. And it looks like... Deion Lewis looks to get a run. And a big tackle fourth to and bring six. Us to fourth down. And it looks like this might close the game here as the clock will now run. So the running attempt fails them, and now they will have to punt it away. And I've given the Patriots a lot of road games. Winner of this will go to face either Denver or Oakland in their stadium. As unsurprisingly, the Patriots just so the flat routed the Giants. And this one is in the books, Charles. Handshakes all around. Well played, well contested. A lot Move of disappointment. In this one, as the New England Patriots walk home with a 24-7 victory over the New York Giants. So the Giants will be packing home to an apartment in the Bronx. While New England will be looking for their next road opponent. Historically, ever since about 2011, 2012 or so. Patriots seem to be doing a lot better on the road versus, you know, mid early to mid 2000s. So for our entire Especially crew, in terms alongside of Charles stuff, Davis, uh, I'm Brandon Gordon. They destroyed Gordon. the Chargers. Thanks for watching, everybody. 10, we'll see you next time. Back on Madden 07. They went to play the Panthers and got beat 36-32 by Jake DeLong. So, final score tonight from MetLife Stadium. Twenty-four to seven. Neither team scored in the fourth quarter. The 
in terms of scoring, as we look at probably the most notable player out of this, both of these. One interception versus three for Tom Brady and Eli Manning. Brady averaged 7.4 versus Manning's 5.2. Longest pass of the night was a 35-yarder by Tom Brady versus a 29-yard by Odell Beckham by Eli Manning. So in terms of receiving from uh, the Patriots' side, Danny Amendola literally scored the all of the team's touchdowns with uh, 58 yards receiving, averaging 14 and a half yards, three touchdowns, the Garrett Blount and second receiving yards, and then Deion Lewis, Julian Edelman, Rob Gronkowski surprisingly had the fewest. So... Final score, Giants 7, Patriots 24. So this means the Patriots will travel on the road again to face either the, the winner of the Oakland-Denver game, which will be played January 13th on Sunday Night Football. Speaking of which, here are the uniform previews for the upcoming games. The Cleveland Browns surprisingly upset the Bengals December 23rd. So this means they will get home field advantage to the Vikes, who are going to be donning their Color Rush alternate for this game. And that, as this game will be held early in the morning and virtually what's rumored to be similar conditions to the game against Cincinnati while the Browns will be in their color rush poop brown jerseys. And then there's going to be a double header next week with their early game against the Texans with the Texans and Chiefs. The Chiefs will be going on the road for the first time, second time, first time since playing the Patriots. They are going all white for this game. While the New England Patriot, the Houston Texans, I'm sorry, the Houston Texans will be going all blue for this game. Notably, so the Denver Broncos and the Oakland Raiders. In terms of uniforms, the Raiders will be carrying their normal whites as the Broncos are going to be going plain orange for this game. It's their uh, main home look. And by the way, the other part of that doubleheader with the Texans and Chiefs will be at four between the Chargers and Houston. San Diego Chargers and Pittsburgh Steelers. I initially planned the Chargers to wear white. But the Steelers have a white throwback. They were rumored to wear one of their alternates for this game. They have a white look for uh, the game against San Diego. This is in the winner's side of things. The Chargers will be rumored to wear their alternate baby blue for this game. Baby blue. And then the final game with the Colts basically having all the home games, it seems like. In the winner's bracket, so this will be a 
possibly a Saturday afternoon college. Possibly I might have this be a went a Friday afternoon game, like an early one. Um, so the Seahawks will be bringing the all white look to Lucas Oil Stadium, while the Indianapolis Colts will bring their all blue look. As I make my player dizzy. So those are the uniform previews for the next few weeks. The winner of the Denver and Oakland game will be hosting New England. My sources point to Denver taking it. And so does pretty much everybody else. So see you next when see you January 13th, folks. Sorry. See you next Wednesday for a... All right, I'm getting screwed up here. See you tomorrow morning as the Minnesota Vikings come into Cleveland, Ohio to face the Cleveland Browns. My commentary is so stiff right now. <laughs>